The Department of Justice has filed paperwork indicating it is going to appeal the Florida judge's decision to allow a special master to review the documents seized from Mar-a-Lago in early August. And in the meantime, DOJ wants the Florida judge to put a pause on her own ruling. The DOJ's filing says Judge Cannon's order that not only allows the appointment of this special master, but also orders the Department of Justice to stop using those documents that it seized in the criminal investigation is flawed for many reasons, but mostly, DOJ says, it's impossible to separate the criminal investigation from the ongoing intelligence assessment to determine how much damage was caused because these classified documents were not in the places where they should have been. The DOJ is asking the judge to stay her order, which means they want her to put a pause or suspend her order while the Department of Justice lawyers appeal to the 11th Circuit. And if she does not, the DOJ argues the government and the public would suffer irreparable harm. In the filing, the Justice Department says it believes that it will succeed on appeal that a special master is not necessary and really shouldn't have access to those specialized top secret documents and that there is no executive privilege that the former president can assert based on Supreme Court precedent. Basically, the filing lays out in 21 pages why and how the DOJ says Judge Cannon got it all wrong. But here's the gamble. The appeals process could actually take a lot longer than any document review by a special master. And there's no guarantee the DOJ will win.